Hey everyone, welcome back to another my tutorial. Today I'm going to be creating a street lamp like the one you see here. So we're going to be making it with a working light as well. So let's create a cylinder and make this a bit taller. Um, okay. Uh, let me see here. What kind of details should we add? We can make the bottom part a bit better. Okay, let's see here. Extrude this out. Sorry about that. That's my cat in the background. Um, and the bottom looks like it kind of goes out a little bit like that. Maybe a bit more in. Okay. And maybe there's a little box, sort of. We're not going to do that bottom detail. It'll take too long for what this tutorial really is. So, let's make this a bit smaller, and just stick that right, uh, maybe a bit smaller, right there. So, I'm actually spending way too much time making this little block. Okay, I like that. Now let's start working on this headlamp, so quickly do kind of thing for the top. Uh, it's kind of just like a little thing uh, okay let's take all of those and just push those in maybe a little bit if we were to smooth that looks meh so what we can do is we can actually add some edge loops where we want to keep the geometry a bit more how it looks more rigid. Um, there, okay. Let's see, do we need any for here? We could. You can press G to uh, reuse your last tool. So that's going way too down for some reason. There, like that. So now if you were to smooth that, so you can see it keeps its proper shape way better. And, let's see. Um, I'm just going to push that in. Okay, so we're not done with this yet though. We need to start doing that. So it looks like there might be um, cube right there. As you can see, kind of like that right there. Um, it's a bit smaller. And it's about at the top, and then let's create one of the one of those. Okay. Um, one second. Okay, sorry about that. My dog peed on my carpet. So, um, let's take this face right here and make it a bit smaller. Okay. And then extrude that out. Uh, it's kind of like that. And go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, and just place a bit there so that what we can do is we can kind of angle this a bit better okay um, that's pretty good if we were to smooth that it starts to look a bit better but we're not going to smooth that yet um, I'm going to keep that smooth just so I can kind of see how things will look uh, push that in a little bit okay now let's create should we let's do that really fast Okay, create a cube, put that about there, and then um, okay, that looks all right, maybe what we could do is slant it a bit more and bring this like that uh, and take those vertexes and oops, put them up. Okay, I like that. Um, that's equal. All right. So now we need to create that kind of thing. So they're kind of just like little blobs, blobs, blobs. 
kind of odd looking. Um, how we could do this? Maybe insert an edge loop about there. Take these loops faces and extrude them out a bit more and then oops those edges okay maybe let's see how that will look pretty bad so give it maybe a bit more shape um, let's see how they kind of look uh, we what we could do is we can also add a division so that when we smooth it, it actually keeps that. So I'm liking that. Um, let's see how we can attach this. Except actually, that back is a bit too far. Um, okay, it's still a bit too far. Okay, I like that. Um, I'll take this up and drag this to about there. Okay, I think that'll look good. Um, it's actually a bit big. It's a bit small. I mean, there. Okay, that's a good size. Uh, now maybe, let's see, are they rotated a tiny bit? Let's create a cylinder and kind of just make it a bit smaller uh, okay that looks good alright so now um, we're gonna add uh, not the lighting yet let's bevel that first Oops. Make it a bit bigger, and then, oh my god, put that up a little bit. And we will have our light kind of in there, shining on, I don't know, let's see. Let's create a plane. Uh, get rid of that grid. Oops. And, let's see. That's pretty good. Let's have a cube. Cube bit bigger. Okay, we want that to be shined on by our lovely street lamp. Okay, so, okay, let's add some colors to this, so, uh, I could make that kind of, oops, grayish. That looks pretty good, and I'll give that, oh my god, select that. Jeez, okay, it's um, that right there. And I'll add the same thing to that. Um, let's see. That can be same color, I guess. And why don't we make this maybe black? Or maybe not exactly black, just kind of gray. I mean, it's a street lamp. Um, why don't I make this kind of, make it just completely black? Yeah, okay. And then that can be kind of just that. So if we were to render this right now, it just looks like that. So we want to add some color, or I mean some light to there so that we can shine it upon there. Okay, so we're going to want to add a lights spotlight okay and uh, just rotate this 90 degrees you can hold down J to snap it at 15 degree uh, what is it called um, intervals so let's put this about right in the middle of our little thing okay and give this a color it's kind of yellowish so if we render this now um, it doesn't look too good because you can't really see anything else. It looks like it's pitch black. You could have that if you'd like, but um, a few things we're forgetting. Uh, one, we need to actually smooth that. And actually, let's see how that looks smoothed. 
Um, okay, actually, it's not too bad. So let's go to Mesh. Uh, where is it? Smooth. Um, Mesh Smooth. And Mesh Smooth. Mesh Smooth. And I think those are there, okay. Um, one thing, though, that is kind of odd. And we don't want spikes. So I'll just put that in like that for now. Um, okay. That should be enough for the smoothing. So if we were to look at this now, it looks not, you can't see those, like, you know, weird lines. Okay. So it's starting to look really good. Let's create light, directional light. Uh, bring this out a little bit. And maybe rotate that. Okay. And then press T so you can change the way the, uh, where the lighting goes. And put that to about, about there. Kind of want that to kind of hit that. And put this intensity up maybe just a little bit. And we don't want it to be that dark. I mean that bright. Okay. So now, if we were to look at this, um, we can kind of you can kind of see this post a bit better, and you can kind of see the the ground. So maybe a better angle. We can turn on the resolution gate right here, so we can see exactly what it will look like um, for our our actual render. So there, I like that. That looks pretty nice. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe.